COG Chair, Mweshimiwa Governor Anu Waiguru. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Rigathe Gashagwa, Your Excellency, Mrs. Dokas Gashagwa, Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Speaker, my colleague governors, all members of Parliament, and all protocols observed, and the clergy as well. Good afternoon. Adwan Yeremorega. Gaine Moega. Togaidan Yeshiarera. Gaine Moega. Nahede Shiode. Your Excellency, today we are very honored to have you in Mount Kenya. And if there was a message that you needed to hear today, is a message that has been preached by the bishop. That message reminded me of an incident. Everybody who's around me knows I don't like to fly. And sometimes they wonder why. There was a time we were coming from the US and uh, the plane was going on well, and the pilot warned us that he's expecting there to be some turbulence. And at the time, I never had any issues with flying as such. But the turbulence came, and as usual, Seth has sat next to me in the plane and knows, I started muttering my prayers. I usually carry my Bible when I'm flying. I put it next to me and I started praying. I said, please stabilize this plane. I really don't like turbulence. But the turbulence became so bad that the pilot asked that the tables be cleared. So if anybody was eating, to please get the cutlery away. My prayers started becoming louder. You know, now my neighbor could hear that I am actually praying. You know, and I kept calling Jesus quite a number of times. And then the pilot asked the cabin crew, to take their seat. Now if you fly, you don't like flying, now that is disaster. So now I was not whispering anymore. I started now muttering very seriously that Jesus, please help us. The plane hit a bump. At that point I said, Jesus, send your angels <laughs> to take us home safely. There was a lady sitting next to me she said, no, don't send your angels. Come yourself. <laughs> so I figured I was not the only one who fears flying. But uh, since I am here, God managed to take us to land safely. When we landed, I asked the lady, why did you cancel my prayers and say no? Don't send your angels, come yourself. And she said, you know, those angels can be told to take them home safely, they take us to heaven. <laughs> but Jesus can't cause her. He knows when you say take us home safely, he means take us home to Nairobi. <laughs> so your excellency, we've got the message from the bishop. We have been told we will get to the other side. We have faith in God, and we have faith in your leadership. We, as the people of Mount Kenya, you went around, you have seen, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. All we need is to have faith. Your Excellency, we want to assure you, as the people of Mount Kenya, that all the Mount Kenya people require is for the promise to be kept. There are roads that you promised during campaigns. There are uh, dams you have promised us. There's resources. We will be discussing them for the next couple of days. But other than that, their love and commitment to you is completely unconditional. Mimi sina mengi ya kusema ila ni washukuru sana watu wanyeri kwa vile mwato nyito ogeni. And uh, as the president is here, we will continue as the people of Mount Kenya and thank the clergy for continuously keeping us in the right path and standing with this government. Many a times we need 
the assurance that God is still with us and will enable us to be on the other side. Before I sit, allow me to give the apologies of two of my colleagues who could not make it. There is Governor of Tharakanithi, Governor Modom Njuki, and there is also Governor Susan Keheka. Also, they had urgent issues to deal with and therefore could not make it today, but they will be joining us as we move on for the leadership meetings. Nihayo tu, watu wanyeri, na muendelea kutushikilia. We are very grateful for our deputy president. You blessed us with a leader who has held the hands of our president when the time became difficult, and we will not forget you people of Nyeri. Asante sana na mungu wabariki. Asante sana, mweshimiwa wa Igoro, Your Excellency the President. Wa chama chetu cha UDA kwa mapenzi ya rais, na ye ni governor mfanyakazi, mtendakazi, kule embu, anaitua mweshimiwa Sesle Mbarine. Karibu. Asante. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, your Excellency the Deputy President, Your Excellency Pastor Dokas, Prime Cabinet Secretary, all protocols observed, Wanainchi Watukufu, Wanyeri County, Hamjambo, Muega and Wanyere, Gavia Isiera Rebuana Sifiwe, God is good, and all the time. Thank you, Your Excellency, for bringing us here. Mi nataka kukuambia kwamba siku ya leo nikiketi pale nimeshukuru Mungu sana. Kwa sababu the last time I was in this state lodge your excellency mimi nilikuwa nimeketi chini ya muti kule nje kabisa. Hatunge pata nafasi ya kuketi katika tent katika hii state lodge. But I thank God today we are at the tent and you are the president of the Republic of Kenya. Bwana asifiwe. Your Excellency, I want to thank you for taking time to come to the mountain. The people of Mount Kenya voted to you for you with a lot of love. And we thank you that you have taken matters concerning the mountain very, very seriously. But I also thank you that you picked our son the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa to be the deputy president of this great country. And I want to thank Nataka Kushkuru Wanainchi Watukufu Wanyeri kwa kutupatia kiongozi shupavu kama Rigadi Gashagwa. Ngaia mura adhime muno ando wanyeri. God bless you. Secondly, Your Excellency, as you come to the mountain, we have the issues that affect us. Tuko na shida zetu. Lakini ningetaka kukuambia ukitushikilia vile tumeona mambo ya kahawa, mambo ya majani, mambo ya eh, maziwa, mambo ya mchele, mambo ya avocado, macadamia na ukifika kule kwetu embu na meru mambo ya mugoka na miraa wewe uko sawa your excellency. And I want to thank you kwa sababu me Patia hiyo kazi kwa mtu wanajua hiyo kazi ya naitua Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. He has started us very well. We are happy and we are putting all our support behind that agenda to make sure we get more money in the pocket of the farmer in Mount Kenya. Tua kushkuru sana, Your Excellency. Na mimi ni kuambie, ni kwa tayari, kuenda pale umeniambia nienda na ishongwa, Tuonge, and we are very, very clear what our agenda is. It is very, very, very clear to us that the hard shake is not part of that agenda. And we are very, very clear. Na musijali, sisi tukongangare, kuenda kufanya the only agenda the president has sent us to go and discuss. Asante ni sana, mungu wa wabariki. Na karibu ni embu. And your excellency, when you are done with Mount Kenya West, Mount Kenya East is eagerly waiting for you. Karibu Mount Kenya East. Thank you. Asante sana, Cecilia. Ukiingia, unakaa macho. Uko. Unakaa hivi. Your Excellency, allow me to recognize the Deputy Governors before I invite my chair 
of the Council of uh, Governors. I have uh, governor, de deputy governors, all the deputy governors kindly ki come, 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 come. Simameni tu hapata nyinyi mwangalie wale wananchi we governor ufanye nguvu ukae kama yule <laughs> Very good We begin with my own deputy governor huyu anaitwa David Waroe Kenanire mheshimiwa na ananisaidia kazi ni mtu mzuri Tuko na ga deputy governor wa Muranga Na analeta salamu za governor Kangata wa Barua huyu anaitwa Mona Munania na tunawashukuru kwa sababu walisaidia wa Mombi Asante This this is my classmate <laughs> This is my classmate 